Alright guys, real quick before we get started with this episode of Druck, don't forget that you can get the full uncut, unedited raw reaction to Druck on my Patreon. The link will be at the top of the description, so if you want to rewatch these episodes along with me in their entirety, as well as get all of the other Scam remakes in seasons 3 and 4 of OG Scam, definitely check it out, otherwise they of course will still be on YouTube, just heavily edited. But other than that, let's get in this episode, guys. Um, I'm so excited because this is the infamous episode 9, and we all know what happens to episode 9. And I'm excited to see how they play this out because obviously it's a very different storyline um, being that they went with the whole trans thing instead of it just being about his bipolar. And I'm just really excited to see how they play this out and see what direction they go with the scene. But yeah, other than that, let's get this episode. Oh, he's listening to take me to church. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like a sadder version. I mean, the song's already sad, but you know. What, <laughs> what, is, the, what is happening in the background? He doesn't even know that this is happening right now. He doesn't even know it's happening. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, they're definitely like surprising him, I feel like. Aww. Intervention. Oh my god, that's a big ass bowl. <laughs> is it his birthday? Oh, no. Ja, wir waren hier eigentlich für ein Abi-Streichtreffen verabredet, aber das ist auf jeden Fall wichtiger. Ja, abi ist für die Familie da. abi ballroom <laughs> The fact that they're all doing this is so sweet. Ja, jedenfalls müssen wir jetzt überlegen, was wir machen können. Oh, they all want to help him. Mm. Er ist trans und jetzt weiß die ganze Schule. Ja, Neuhaus hat ihn einfach als Mädchen benotet, nur weil es noch in seinem Perso steht. Ja, krass. Ja, Leute, ich finde, es muss doch irgendeinen Weg geben. Wir müssen doch irgendwie David helfen können. Oh. Jonas hat recht. Das ist so sweet. Wir müssen David zeigen, hinter ihm stehen. Yes, you do. Do it. Dude, right outside his classroom and throw fucking eggs at him. What a bitch. Und einen Mittelfinger auf seine Tür kleben. Junge. Burn the, the school down. down. Ja, aber darum geht's ja. Weißt du, er fühlt sich ja nicht so, oder was ist so? Ja. Is that him? Shut up. Wait, who is that? What is happening? Who is that? No. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. She came out of her room. Oh. Look at him, like, realizing that everyone is literally there for him. No matter what. That's how many people love you. That's what I was thinking. Like, I don't know if David would want it to be a thing. Also, it's echt cool, that you're so viel einsetzen wollt. But I think... Er müsste selbst entscheiden, ob er eine Demo oder eine Petition oder Dude, if in the fucking finale they all rally with him together and do something, I'm gonna fucking ball. I'm going to cry. Ich stehe hinter dir, Bruder. Aww. Even if you don't do anything right now, just know that they're there for you. Oh, I love that. God, I love this fucking remake. Like, this has to be the best remake. I don't know. I don't know. Hello? Oh, is he gonna be okay. gone? Wait, what is- where is this? What is this? Is that his sister? He had gestern Nachmittag den Rio genommen. Wait, so is this actually their apartment or is this somewhere that they're squatting? Er will gerade niemanden sehen. Wie geht's ihm? Nicht so gut. I bet not. Poor f***ing baby, I'm shot. Don't you stop him. Ooh, did she ship it? Ooh, she didn't say anything, like, mean. She didn't pull a whole, like, you can't handle him. Oh, stop. It's good that she reacted that way, though. Aww. But that's relieving. <laughs> Ma, vorbereitet? Mm -mm. Na, Marsch. Was denkst du, wie ich mich fühle? Bin ich gut vorbereitet. Als wir zusammen lernen sollten, dachte ich mir so richtig scheiße. Ey, mein Abi ist voll am Arsch. Und das war's ja auch. Denn du warst echt ein beschissener Lernpartner, mein Freund. <lacht> ich hab dich da durchgezogen. Diese Angst da in dir. Das ist nur Kraft, die einfach in dir steckt und einfach raus will. Ich glaube an dich, Matteo. Du musst es nur noch selber tun. Aww. Seit heute Morgen ist Ramadan. Ich habe noch nichts gegessen und ich bin mega unterzuckert. <lacht> ich könnte 
quiet. Okay. <lacht> Deep breaths. Also. Oh. Ich schaffe das mit links, okay? Komm schon. Oh. Ich trinke die Dampfbier. Donnerstag bin ich zurück. He didn't seem too upset. He got hope from his two people right there. Amira gave him hope, and David gave him hope. They play the weirdest <laughs> type of games. Like their version of ping pong that they were playing. So weird. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's over? It's cool. Natürlich bleiben wir Brudis. Schwörst du? Ja, ich schwör auf meine Eier, Alter. Oh, so. he looks so sad. No. <lacht> du bist so behindert, Typ. Hä, Junge, ich bin informiert. <lacht> I love the little nods that they do. Meinst du nicht, ich müsste bei ihm sein gerade? David. Hm. Quatsch. Digga, David hat für sich entschieden, gerade allein zu sein. Aber wenn er wieder da ist, Very true. musst du für ihn da sein. Don't push it. alles richtig, chill mal. Gotta let him come to you. Bitch, shut up. Oh, I just got goosebumps just hearing that. <laughs> oh. Wait, are we doing this right now? Are we doing this right now? Oh, I like that he didn't call his mom so far and say like, it was a joke, you know, that whole line. Wait, I'm scared. I don't know what to expect. Oh, I have goosebumps. Y'all can't see my legs, but I got goosebumps on my legs. Dude, I cannot, like, just looking at him right now, I cannot tell you how far this dude has come, like, as a character. It's crazy. He's had, by far, the best character development in this entire show, and possibly in the entire scam universe. Oh, <laughs> that was so f***ing cute. He said he's coming back on Thursday, though. <laughs> that, that girl that was next to her was like, where's she going? <laughs> I'm gonna cry, stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't want to do this. Oh my god, I don't want to do it. I didn't sign up for this. Oh, f oh my god, no, here we go. Oh my god. He didn't need to tell her, she knows. I'm trying to think where he could be. Where would, wait, where would he be? Yeah, David da? David, no, wieso? Maybe he's at the pool. Oh, f he's panicking. Go to the pool. I feel like this episode hasn't been on for that long, so is that gonna be the last clip? Unless he's like by the No, don't wait until tomorrow. We gotta find him now. Unless he's like where they first met. Oh, what the f He really is waiting until tomorrow. Oh, look at him waiting. Oh, shit. Dude, f you. Punch that one yeah. in the face. He's gotta be at the pool. Because he would be, he would have found him if he was where they met. That was, they met at the school, right? I mean, I know where they met, but like, that was in school, right? I'm pretty sure that was part of the school. He's gotta be at the pool in that place. Does that mean that he literally stayed there all night, though? Like, since he got back to Berlin? <gasps> He's at the pool! And think on this. I will tell you a thousand things, but I can stay here. Yes, you can. Muss weg. Es ist nicht schlimm, allein zu sein. Wir sind alle allein. Wenn das Schicksal auf unserer Seite gewesen, hätte ich dich mitgenommen. No. No, you can still das have him. Nicht. Come on. Don't say that. No one's taking you away from him. Oh, bitch. I forgot that, like, this scene always makes me cry. Oh, I don't have tissues. Okay, well, he's obviously at the pool because he said that he was underwater. Fuck him. Ist 
Wenn er in Schule an mich spricht, sie genannt. Weil ich immer aus Behinderten klug immer. Und die Lehrer, obwohl sie es wussten, haben sie mich bei meinem beschissenen Geburtsnamen genannt. Sie haben mich behandelt wie den letzten Dreck und es wurde immer schlimmer und ich konnte nicht mehr schlafen und wurde einfach nur weg. Ich wieder genau am gleichen Punkt. Du hast doch gesehen, wie die auf ihre Handys gestartet haben. Oh, damn. Oh, dieser Ekel. You have a whole group of people that are gonna rally behind you now. It's not gonna be the same. No, it won't. Will wieder auslachen oder fragen, wie ich pissen oder Sex haben will. Ja, aber jetzt bin ich da. Good. Fucking nail that shit into his head. You have him and you have a big group of people that love you and will defend you. Just Was? hug him. Weißt du, du bist so cool und das checkst du einfach nicht mal, okay? So warm, wie sehr sich alle für dich eingesetzt haben die letzten Tage. You don't see that part. Okay. Does it make it okay, but it helps. Du bist auch jetzt nicht irgendwie so ein verschissener Vampir, der sich vor der Gesellschaft verstecken muss oder so ein Scheiß. Okay, das bist du nicht. Ich bin da und deswegen hast du alle Zeit der Welt. I really like that they made this a full conversation. Oh. Oh. Tell him to stop. I fucking love you, idiot. Say again. Look at him. I'm not saying it again. Say it again because I love you. Like. Oh, you cannot believe that someone just said that. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me say, without a doubt, that is the best version of that scene. Besides the original, of course, like that tied the original with emotion because I feel like a lot of the remakes that have done that scene, um, it's been, of course, it's been emotional. It's not like it hasn't been emotional. I'm not downplaying that by any means, um, but it's definitely something that they fed off of that silence and it was supposed to be like this big moment where everything is silent and then he says the one word of you're not alone or that, some form of that. And with this version, it was very important that they had this conversation because it wasn't all about him just telling him he wasn't alone. There needed to be that conversation for him to tell him why he was feeling this way and why he feels like he needs to leave. Um, because it wasn't like he had just found out that he was bipolar and he was struggling because he felt alone. Like there was a bigger picture and it, it was just, this was, it was so important that they had that conversation. And I'm so glad that they chose not to just have it be that one liner because as, as important as that is and as how emotional that, that that is, it was definitely more important for this version and this story that they were telling. The actor that plays David is f***ing phenomenal and like, <laughs> he had me f***ing bawling and the fact that they were both angry but it wasn't at each other so they're like sitting there angry with tears in their eyes screaming at each other but they're not angry at each other they're angry at the people that put them in this situation they're angry at society and they're angry at all the people that laughed at that video and they're angry that this is something that is keeping them from being together and i feel like that's really really important to note that Mateo isn't yelling at him because he's angry at him he's yelling at him because he's trying to get through to him because he's so fucking angry that this has happened that someone is keeping him from the love of his life. And it's, it, when he finally said that he loved him and walked away and was like, you know what, I love you, but whatever. And and David stopped him, of course, and said, say it again. And he said it again, and it was just beautiful. Like, I cannot, t ugh. And it's f***ing insane how far Mateo has come as a character. And when I say that he was my least favorite Isak, I mean, like, I had zero interest in this season. And to go from me and Alexander to, like, Having to get into Mateo, I was just kind of like, mm, you know, like, whatever. Like, I, it's, it's struck, so I'm sure it'll be good, but I doubt I'm going to feel anything towards the characters. This is by far the best Isak and Evan remake. And I feel like, I feel like Espana and this one are tied for me. 
but España is like just so different, especially because girls too, that it's like, I feel like I can't compare the two. But in terms of like the Isak and Evan, this is by far the best remake. And Lucas and Elliot are definitely second to this, but this just, there's the emotion behind it is freaking beautiful. And everything that it stands for and the scene of all the friends rallying together to defend him and saying, you know, what can we do? We want to help him, but Mateo speaking up and saying it needs to be on his terms. And it was just awesome. And the fact that now David said, you know, I don't want to go through this again. I don't want to be in the situation that I was at before. And Mateo saying, well, it's not going to happen because you have me and you have a whole group of people ready to fight for you. And it's just amazing. And I know in the next episode, they're going to do something to stand up against that teacher. And that it's going to make me cry all over again. This was beautiful. And every single part of it was beautiful. And Mateo seeing his mom and then him walking away from his mom and his mom just knew that he needed to go. It was beautiful. And this was the, like the easiest 10 out of 10 drug episode I've ever given. Not to downplay any of the other ones. That's not what I'm saying. But like, there's no doubt in my, my mind that this is one of the best episodes of Druck by far. I absolutely loved the way that that scene played out. And I was kind of worried how they would play that out with that one liner and having that intense music and him leaving the church and stuff, but they did it completely differently. It wasn't even the same night as that church scene. I don't know. It was just incredibly emotional and I, I loved it. I thought it was really, really phenomenal and I cannot wait to see how they wrap the season up. I'm going to miss these two so much, so f***ing much. Um, but I think that is pretty much it. I will see you guys in the finale. Thanks for watching.